What can you do when you have a surplus of tomatoes? Make tomato paste. I've blended these up in my Thermomix, but an ordinary blender would do the job just as well. And now they're on the stove. You could add olive oil or salt to the recipe. I'm going to add three teaspoons of salt. I like to use Himalayan pink salt because I love the flavour. Salt is not necessary. Some people want it for flavouring, but as I said, I'll have it just to help with the preservation. These are Roma tomatoes, which typically aren't very juicy, but these ones have been. They're open pollinated Roma tomatoes as well, so they have been a bit seedy. I have it on high heat at the moment just to bring it to the boil, then I'll simmer it over a few hours. Putting this across the top will prevent it from overflowing if it did happen to come to the boil and I wasn't paying attention. It has been one and a quarter hours and this is how much it has reduced so far. So we still have a way to go. In the meantime I have a saucepan of apples put on to stew. These are Cox's Orange Pippins. It's now nearly two hours since I started the cooking. I turned it down after an hour and a quarter because I was off out and about doing other things once I got that apple onto the stove. But I'm still stirring it fairly regularly. And all is going well. It's five hours later. It's quite thick. That is five hours from when I started. There is a little bit of liquid in there still. I could keep going, but I won't. Um, I'm happy with that. You would just go as long as you can or as long as you want to for the result that you're after. I'm happy with this. I'm just boiling the kettle to sterilise, inverted commas, the ice cube trays. It's not really sterilisation. The idea is to just make sure they're super clean. So there we have it, six ice cube trays filled with tomato paste. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is very concentrated. I just had a little taste and yes, it is very concentrated. Job done.